We get to enter into the rest of Jesus today and every day. We don't have to wait for Saturday. In the New Testament, this is not repeated because I think the Sabbath day out of all the laws here actually point us to Jesus. In Colossians chapter two, Paul says, don't let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or a Sabbath day. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. The temple was a symbol that points to Jesus. The furniture in the temple is a symbol that points to Jesus. The lamp, the bread, the altar of incense, it all points to Jesus. The sacrifice points to Jesus. The Sabbath day points to Jesus. It is a symbol that once Jesus arrives, he is our rest. Matthew 28, I'm sorry, verse 11, verse, chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Hebrews chapter three and four says, Joshua, when he led the Israelites into the promised land, he said they could not enter into his rest because they didn't have faith. They had the Sabbath day, why couldn't they enter into rest? They had no faith. But you have faith, so you can now enter into the rest that was promised. Who do we have faith in? We have faith in Jesus. He gives us rest. If you are in Jesus and he is in you, he's already kept all the laws for you. That is rest. If you are in Jesus and he is in you, your salvation is secure. That is rest. We don't have to work for it. We get to enter into the rest of Jesus today and every day. We don't have to wait for Saturday. And please, please, please don't make the mistake that I grew up under that Sunday is the new Sabbath day. Everybody I've met that has moved the Sabbath day regulations to Sunday, by the way, none of the regulations on the Sabbath had anything to do with gathering and worship. But those Christians who have moved the Sabbath day rule to Sunday end up making a bunch of laws about what you can and cannot do on Sunday, just like the Pharisees and the scribal traditions that Jesus fought against. Sunday is not the Sabbath day. Saturday is the Sabbath. And if you want to be under the law and keep the Sabbath, if you fail at keeping the Sabbath, you're going to be under a curse like you've broken all the law. I would rather enter into the rest Jesus offers me with the peace for my soul and the ability to know that he has fulfilled all the laws in my place so that I can love God. That gives me rest. Does that mean I don't need to take a day off? No, taking a day off is healthy. Does that mean I can't set aside a day for the Lord? No, set aside a day for the Lord. That's beautiful. In fact, Paul says, some people set aside one day for the Lord and some people set aside every day for the Lord. Either way, do what, it, do what you are committed to because it gives honor to God. But don't make it the law. And don't move it because Jesus rose on Sunday and we worship on Sunday. No, enter into his rest. He fulfills the symbol. 